as we all know python is one of the most used language for all over the world because of its flexibility and wide range of variety the top 500 fortune companies are currently using python like google facebook using python for their company so keep that in our mind we came up with a tutorial where we are going to talk about how can you start your journey with python using pycharm But before start the video let me introduce that great learning has came up with the brilliant idea of great learning academy so let me show you what are the things they are offering you for free so this is the website we have that is great learning academy where you will get almost 80 plus free courses and after complete your course you can claim your certificate as well and let me show you what are the courses we are actually offering to you for free that is something you can see the data science related courses you will get lots of variety for that we have machine learning domain as well if you click on machine learning domain you can see there are lots of courses is also available for free of course there are it and software and if you are someone from marketing and finance background there are lots of courses is also there from you as well right so these are the all domains we have with lots of variety so why you are waiting please do and do these courses and skill up yourself and one more thing that i need to say and this is something a catch you can say with this courses you will get lots of free of cost material and also after complete your course you can claim your certificate with your name as well so this is something a great catch you can say and this will help you to skill up yourself you can add this certificate to your cv as well which will give you more add on welcome to the new video id on pycharm but what is id id is nothing but integrated development environment so i will talk about why do we need id but before that let me tell you why we use pycharm basically we use pycharm for python and before start the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe great learning and also hit like this video if you like it and please do let us know in the comment section what new thing you want to learn from us so let's get start with the tutorial so now in this part we are going to look into the agenda what are the things we are going to cover so first we will have a look at what is pycharm then we will jump into what is an id what we actually mean by integrated development environment then we will have a look at why do we need id is it really necessary to have an id or we can do it without integrated development environment as well then we will have a look at the different types of id we have for python and lastly we will see how you can get start with pycharm it's interesting right isn't it we are going to talk about a full new environment where you can actually start your python programming so let's have a look at what is pycharm pycharm is one of the most famous integrated development environment in short which is known as id for python developed by cz organization called jetbrains so basically jetbrains invented pycharm it's one of the most popular environment to do the python coding right now if we look into what is an id as we were talking about lot of pycharm and also integrated development environment now i will give you a brief what is this id stands for an id is a software application or platform that provides an integrated environment to the programmers to develop build debug package and deploy codes in multiple languages now you will ask me what is actually uh, de uh, developing a code building a code debug a code and package and deploy codes right so yeah if you are a software developer or if you are someone who actually into this software industry you you should know what is developing a code basically when we write a code we actually develop a code to you know uh, make our work done right so when we develop this code we get some of the few problems suppose you make some mistakes or you get some errors so in this case if there is someone who is going to help you to say hey you whatever you are writing this is not right maybe you have a spelling mistake or maybe you have a indentation mistakes right so this is why id help us to do this courses and make our life easy now we will have a look at why do we need an id in a proper term so suppose you are writing a code testing a code and debugging a code so first you write a code right to make your work done after you write a code your work is not done you have to test it you have to check your code is working properly or not now 
if uh, when you are going to test your code if you get any error or if you get any uh, not you know the some uh, output that is not required that time you have to debug your code to make your code work properly so in this case you can do all these three things in one at a place don't you think it is really important to do that suppose you need to write a code somewhere you need to test your code somewhere and you need to debug your code somewhere how it's painful for your code to do right so this is where we need id now comes to make coding experience comfortable yes obviously when you actually have a assistant who is going to say suppose you are writing a code and you have some spelling mistakes it's going to give you an error you can say okay there is someone who is going to help me to say hey don't make these mistakes right so this is how it's making coding experience comfortable now if we talk about the text editor right in past what we used to do we used to write our code in the text editor like notebook notebook plus plus and then what we need to do we need to go to our command line and then we need to execute that then if you have any error from there it you need to just find it out the line number and need to find it out wh what error you have right it's really pathetic and hectic to do that when you have thousand lines of code right so this is something is solved by the id so this id is basically you will have the line number as well as you don't need to go to notebook and editor both right so this is how our id is making our life easy and everything can be done in id that we already discussed about so now if you want to if we actually want to look into the very specific part of id then first thing is we can actually do the code analysis right then graphical debugger then unit tester you can do and version control is also can be done using ide then if we talk about the program uh, project management right so yeah you you can do the project management using ide then comes the collaboration if you want to do collaborate with few other codes you can do easily in ide then comes increase efficiency and resource management so these are the key points you can say why do we need ide now we will have a look at the different types of id we have in our particularly for python right so the first uh, thing is we have pycharm so pycharm is one of the most popular id which is actually used by lots of companies and user to make their work done then we have anaconda this is basically for data science if you are a data science enthusiast then you should go for anaconda and lastly we have google colab this is last but not the least there are lots of id also we have this is the few example we have given over here then this google colab is basically from google which is basically for the ai researcher if you are a ai researcher and you don't have a good computer or system to work with then google colab is for you google gives lots of features to make your work done right so this different ids we have now we will see how can we get started with pycharm firstly we will install python from the jetbeans with website from there i will show you basically walk you through to pycharm to how can you start your coding with pycharm so let's go to pycharm and let's have a look at how can you install them now if you just write pycharm download and from there you will get the first link over here right you just need to click on this link If you click on this link it will redirect to you for their official website to download pycharm. You can see you have to download pycharm there is two particular uh, version you have one is professional one is community. So basically if you want to go for professional you have to pay after few time. If you want to go for using this for your company then we should actually go for professionals then we have another version that is for community community is basically for us it's free and open source you can see it's also mentioned over here now there are few operating system we have we have mac we have linux so if you have mac you just need to click on this tab then there is some different exe file you need to download so as i have windows i am going to download it so you just to click on download it will automatically start downloading right thank you for downloading but i just need to pause it because i have already download pycharm actually a download python.exe file you have to click on that it will automatically start installing it there is no other like of like you will not need to do lots of things to do that it's automatically will start taking the download so as you can see we have done this installing process so let me show you 
so you can see there is automatically a actual uh, like icon is there i just like to click on this icon then it will automatically start basically opening this particular software so let me just do that it will take few time to get started so i will show you what are the things we have in this particular ide right how can you make your new project how can you make your first python file and how can you run them so you can see it started to get um, you know it's the spy jam is basically taking few times to get start with right so this is the interface we are going to get for pi jam right okay let's have a look at that so i have already make a project called demo 2 right so now i am going to going to make a new project to show you how can you start with making your new project right so in this case you can see this is the whole uh, interface we have for pi jam now if i want to click on file and now okay if i uh, click on new project right it will ask me for the like the new project it will basically going to make a new environment for me so now there are few things we need to talk about now you have to give the project name suppose i am going to give a project name a uh, python demo 2 or one right so i have given the project name now you can see this is the python uh, interpreter this is new virtual uh, environment environment now they have two option one is new environment using this you have to make your new environment otherwise the previously con uh, configured interpreter now you will ask me what is the difference between new environment and the previously configured interpreter now there are few difference we are going to talk about in this case you can see if you make a new environment for your project this is basically going to give you a new specific environment for your this specific demo right for this specific project so whatever the uh, package you are going to install whatever the thing you are going to do that is very specifically for this particular project now if we do the previously configured interpreter it will basically if you have done any project earlier it will take that interpreter so if you gonna change anything on that interpreter it will affect this particular project as well so suppose if you want to make a project where you just need to make few packages and you need to make a total new environment for it so then i should suggest you to go for making a new environment right so now if you look over here that the base interpreter so your base interpreter will be python 3.8 right in this case if you just go and previously configured interpreter then you will get you will get few option let me just uh, show you the interpreter no i am not getting any option but there are if you have anaconda in your system you will get that if you have python in your system you will get that whatever the thing you want to select you can select for previously configured interpreter as i don't make any configuration previously that's why i need to make a new environment right after that i just need to click on create then it will give me a prop up basically to un like asking me if you want this making a project in this particular window or a new window right so for my case i want to make it in a new window right so basically it's going to make a new creating virtual environment for my new project python demo one so it will take few minutes uh, to get loaded so let's see how we can start our first project using python and how can we actually execute them you can see we have got our environment the total new environment for this particular project now we have in default main.py file right so now if you want to make a new python file you have to go to your project then click over here you will get an option for uh, okay right so you will get an option for what new you want to make i want to make a new python file i need to click over here after i click over here i need to give a name for this now i want to give a name for demo uh file one right so this will be my new file so now as we can see we got it right so now i am going to write print then i am going to write hey welcome to great learning right so now what i need to do i need to execute it how to execute it for that if you want to save something 
you have an option called save as right you can save as well and you also can have an option of save all right control a is in the basically the shortcut for that now if i just need to execute it what i need to do i just need to execute what for executing this you have this particular as well this uh, run main this is basically for running the main file you have right so this is something you will give this particular uh, symbol to run something now if you go here and if you just click over here you will get a option for run demo file one as well so if i just uh, run this run demo file one what i get i get saying welcome to great learning right so this is how you can start working with pycharm now if i just look into write print 2 plus 3 as we know right if we just do that and then if i just do control a it will basically save my work now if i just go there and just write run demo file 1 what it will i will get i will get hey welcome to great learning print 2 plus 3 that will 5 can you see we got both of them right so this is how you can start working with pycharm and also pycharm has few uh, like you know features and tools we will talk about that as well so basically the important features we are talking about the pycharm has code editor you can see this is the code editor we have where you can actually edit your code now code navigation yes you can navigate your code in pycharm as well then come refactoring right you can do this refactoring using pycharm then it supports a popular web technologies you can use django framework in pycharm as well to make your web application right then supports for python scientific libraries right if you have any scientific libraries if you want to add few other you know libraries for like we know for like machine learning object detection right if you want to do those types of uh, programming in pycharm that is also supported by pycharm right so these are the features we have in pycharm now if we talk about the important tools we have we have database management tool as well we have visual debugger built in terminal and also software testings and last but not the least room of development capabilities right so these are the things we have in particularly pycharm and i hope you will love using pycharm to do your code in this particular id so thank you so much guys thank you for uh, listening to our this particular tutorial i hope you like it and please do not forget to let us know about your feedback please do let us know in the comment section what you feel about pycharm and do not forget to subscribe great learning to for, get updated with the new content like this and also please do like this video if you really feel it's going to help you to start your journey in pycharm right so thank you so much guys